Welcome back and thank you very much for your time. And you can keep sending your messages for already. We've seen a few of them on uh, social media. We'll share them with you as we make progress in the show. But the Ghanaian Times reports, <coughs> sorry, that efforts to reduce fraud, cybercrime, prank calls, government orders, SIM card re-registration from January to June 2020. EC sets date for transfer proxy vote uh, application. And don't allow politicians to use you in the upcoming elections. Reverend Professor Afrin Pomanso. Dangera, Dominasi cut sword for Wembley to construct artificial park complex. The Finder newspaper. Government clears $300 million of BDC's debt and outstanding $49.77 million expected to be paid by the end of 2019. Council, the photo of a laughing Senor Hosi and uh, uh, finance minister who is engaged in deep thought, uh, is supporting his chin with his, with his hand. Education, infrastructure and agriculture dominated President's Three Regions tour. MPP Youth Wing plot to snatch NDC seats in Upper West Region. An upfront CST deduction will attract severe sanctions. Minister Esla Kufu is threatened. Daily Guide. Mahama bears teeth at free SHS again. Card, SIM card re-registration in January. NDC thugs beat regional secretary in public and Baumia presents Ghana's new uh, look in London. Finally, the daily graphic, cabinet tightens the loop, re-register or lose some deadline June 2020, measure to track criminal activities and will strictly enforce sexual harassment policy, UDS Vice Chancellor has warned and resolve technical varsity teacher strike so they resume work. VC appeals to the government. My guest this morning, Nana Damwai, speaks on behalf of the uh, Ministry of Energy and also he is a member of the NPP's communication team. Nana, welcome. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you. And lawyer Ntuji Tamaklo is a member of the NDC's communication team as well as the legal team council. Welcome. Good morning. Good morning. How are we? And good morning to Nana. Okay. Nana, Tuesday morning. So far, so good? By the grace of God, it's, it's always a pleasure to be in your studios. It's always a pleasure to and get to see <coughs> the people of Ghana. Mm. And it's, it's, it's good to see my good friend again. Ezuji, he's happy to see you. Are you happy to see him too? Yeah, I was having expectations <laughs> that this morning, at least he will bring some of the PDS money. And, uh, oh, he's a recipient. <laughs> He's I mean, encouraging I, I, corruption. I, I started asking him right from the he's, beginning. He's already encouraging but he's corruption. Not giving me enough, <coughs> he's not giving In me position, enough assurance. He's still encouraging corruption. Okay. He's not giving me enough assurance. Okay. I mean, with the daily collectibles, have, when we I claim have, I have nothing, the transaction is fraudulent. Oh, I, did, I didn't know that that is a collector. Hey, he's a but he's encouraging money. corruption. The, 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 the cabal that has been put together, government mm -hmm. itself claims that the contract is, you know, tainted with fraud. Mm. But every day, they are still taking our money. Why would you want someone who had defrauded you to be receiving 8 million Ghana City Daily Collectibles from poor persons? But, no, no, of this no, no, what's, the, what's the status of, of Exactly. That I'm happy they, you are asking mm, him this they, uh, I understand that Miracle said they are, they are pulling out and they are going. No, Is they, that correct? They, they threatened to do so. Okay. Um, but I'm sure that before the end of the week, we'll give the final um, you'll, be, you'll be updated adequately on, on what has gone on. You can be sure that quite a lot of work has taken place on, on this PDS deal. Um, it was an evolving matter like we promised the people of Ghana, but as accountable as we are, uh, before the end of the week, I, I promise you that we would have come out with, with all the necessary details that the people of Ghana need to know. Maybe what, 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 what you need to understand. Mm, yeah. You know, so, there is a report signed by the Honorable Deputy Attorney General. Um, Godfred Yebu Adami okay. and the Minister of Interior, Ambrose Derry. In that report, according to government, their own investigation by going to <laughs> Qatar and what have you has concluded that the manner in which the PDS consortium presented the insurance guarantee, mm. there was fraud in it. Now, as a citizen of this country, having become aware of that report, okay, signed and I've indicated to you the signatories to that account. Okay. I find it strange that as we speak, mm. the persons who are in charge of receiving the daily collections mm. relative to our electricity 
are still the PDS consortium and the members who have constituted that consortium. Okay. I so, find so, it worrying. So, so your question is, no, my why, question, why hasn't exactly, anything in happened? In the face okay. of government's own reports admitting that this signed by the Deputy Attorney General, mm -hmm. Godfrey Yebu Adame, and the Minister of Interior on the basis of the 30 the investigation. Right, right. You kept asking who were the members exactly, of that committee. Of the, committee yeah. the committee had come out with this report mm -hmm. and it's signed by these two public officers. If you have come to the conclusion that the PDS arrangement and the insurance guarantee mm -hmm. was procured you know, on the basis of fraud mm -hmm. or some fraudulent misrepresentations, why are they still in charge of collection okay. of 8 million Ghana CD daily. I find that... Very he's, built, he's built a house on a false promise. That, that's, that's it. <laughs> and, 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 and that's exactly where the problem comes from. Okay. The report does not say what he said. What does the report say? What the say? report says is that, indeed, the transaction between our court and the, uh, what you call it, the insurance broker in, in Qatar is problematic. No, oh. they don't say problematic. Look, please, please. They, they you see, it is either you, it is either you, you have not seen the report. No, Johnny, Johnny, just a minute. No, no, they said there were elements of fraud. The yeah, report there. is see, conclusive. I'm Are they clear? No, I'm sorry. sorry. I'm yeah. sorry. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm saying. Now, the problem assistance was not between PDS and anybody else. Transfers were done. Tracking has been done to show that PDS, yes, expressed an interest in acquiring an insurance guarantee. They paid the necessary uh, monies that they had to pay, the necessary deposit that had to be paid. Mm -hmm. Car Bank indeed did what was expected of them and it was done. It got to the insurance broker. Now, between the insurance broker and the insurance company, some fraudulent actions occurred within that quarter. Did PDS bring the money? May I, may I finish? The money that we are expecting no, them you, to you have. Let him finish. May I finish? Mm -hmm. So, on that case, mm -hmm. It is not as though we are saying that PDS has done something fraudulent in Ghana. That's not what we are saying. Mm. And indeed, he is a lawyer. If we are to litigate this matter, you would know how it will end. Because PDS has everything to show mm. that every expectation that they had to fulfill has been fulfilled. So I'm sorry. That's the reason why I'm saying that he's building a house on a false on a false premise. Did, did may, I, the may, money? I, may I? May I? No, no, no. Answer my question. So please. let me answer, answer one my, question. No, answer Hughes, my question. Hughes, 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 Hughes. I haven't finished answering this question. So if you let me answer his, then okay. I can move on to yours. Okay. He Thank said you. he wants to know why nothing has happened. And I'm to telling him. him that his premise is false. Okay. So his whole argument so, and all that. So you have answered that question. Now yes. answer my question. I'm saying that. Did PDS bring the money that we expected them to inject into our energy sector? I do not think that um, it is time yet for us to look at those issues. The reason why I'm saying why this not? is that we gave them a year. I mean, they are supposed to inject, uh, I think, 500 million over a period of five years. Mm -hmm. The first year isn't over. Let's 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 buy that time. So, how much have they invested so far? Do you know? I, I cannot speak to that as at this you moment. You see, you see, the reason why my brother here cannot do that mm -hmm. is that the ah. first claim of fraud. Mm -hmm. Against the PDS, please. Why are you allowing this? please. The first yes. claim no, no, of fraud. A, a, a the first a claim of fraud mm. against the PDS consortium mm. came from no other person but the Minister of Energy. Mm. That's his boss. Mm. His deputy, Honorable Oreku, mm. proceeded to say that from what they have seen, they have seen a grand scheme to defraud the people of this country. Mm. His two superiors have come to the conclusion mm -hmm. that the whole PDS, the lease, the transfer agreement, mm -hmm. the joint memorandum signed by Minister Boatier Jaku, mm -hmm. Honorable Kenoforiata, mm -hmm. presented to the Parliament of Ghana on the third day of July 2018, which received approval from Parliament. Mm -hmm. The basis of that particular joint memorandum his own boss, Peter Mew, came. And there are recordings of him mm. saying that they were defrauded. So where a minister of state comes out to say that our assets, mm. ECG assets, had been transferred to a group of MPP financiers, <laughs> and that, that whole transaction is fraudulent, government now says... To, a team okay. to Qatar. Yes. The team comes with this report. Okay. The report is signed by 
Minister Ambrose Derry, mm. and the Deputy Attorney General of the Republic he of says, Ghana. says by close of week, you get answers. No, he's, let no. Me you can't wait. He's, Do you he's know the 30 time. days? The 30 days elapsed. Okay. He's 12 of... Shall I answer please, 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 please. Mm. The 30 days elapsed. 12 of August. Right. Right. 12 of August. Right. Today is October 15th. The people that we claim have defrauded the people of this country. They are still in charge of taking 8 million Ghana cities every day. You should be worried. Look, would mm. you, yes. under any circumstance, give, give a price national asset mm. to a group of persons that you yourself allege have defrauded you? Okay. Thank you. Uh, now, now, take a bite I'm quickly. Uh, let's, yeah. let's wrap up. He's made, he's made three statements. There's one, if those who we claim have defrauded us. Unless, of course, the uh, minister lied. I, I, well, I'm not sure about that. Uh, it, those who defrauded us are still collecting monies and we are allowing it. Number two, the 30 day, and I agree with him on that one because I kept asking who the members of the committee was. The 30 day has long elapsed. Why don't we have you know, a complete report. I have to wait till the end of the week and, and uh, is asking. Okay, those now, points. thank you very much. You see, I like the excited nature with when AGD speaks because it's like a, a kid that feels he's seen a football mm -hmm. and so he begins to excitedly run towards it only mm -hmm. to find out that it's a mirage. Mm -hmm. Now, he's a lawyer and let's take into consideration some of these things and begin to expose uh, the false promises or the false premises on which this, this excitement is built. Firstly, yes, indeed, the minister said that fraud has been perpetrated on the people of Ghana. And right. this is why we are saying that. <laughs> Documents were presented. Mm -hmm. It was cleared. Okay. We did our first round of checks. We realized that indeed the documents were, were genuine. Mm -hmm. Second round of checks checked out. The third round of checks indicated that indeed Al Kut had begun to deny mm. that they had that insurance policy sitting with them. On the face of it, Prima Fashi, he's a lawyer. Mm. On the face of it, You've brought me documents that says that you have an insurance with Hughes. Hughes has accepted first, accepted second. Now Hughes says, no, I don't have any such insurance policy with me. Mm. What did the government of the day do? The government of the day then came and said, hold on. We have given you a national asset based on documentation such mm. as this, mm. which has been cleared by transaction advisors and everybody. Mm. We do not expect that at this stage, such a letter will be written and given to us. Mm. So once we have received such a letter, on the face of it, Prima Fashi, mm. we are going to retrieve the asset from you and give it to well, the state well, Did entity. we not bring this upon ourselves when May we I... made conditions subsequent, uh, conditions precedence, conditions subsequent? First of all, this, because if you have this pre insurance, pre I'm prerequisites, <laughs> uh, no, no, you, come, you come here into the studio, um, we have to make you up first of all. Previously, we had to mic you, but now you have a table mic. Okay. Those are the prerequisites you satisfy before you come on the set. Yes. Then we say, come on the set, start the discussion. In the middle of the conversation, we will come and powder your face on air. And, and that is what your critics say you did in the matter PDS, where things that had to be done prior to signing the agreement and handing over the assets were pushed to after you had signed and handed over. Then you started looking for things that... I like the scenario that you've created. First of all, let's clarify that this insurance guarantee was not a uh, condition subsequent. That's the first thing. The parliamentarians disagree. Well, hold on. It was not a condition subsequent. It was a condition precedent. Secondly, going to the analogy that you've given, let's assume that when we come to the studio, you make us up, you give us a cup of tea, and then we carry it to the set if we, if we like it or not. Now, what you have decided is that, well, the cup of tea is not really important. During the break, mm. if I so want, you will bring me the cup of tea. Okay. Now, those are the sorts of changes that have been made. Remember, Parliament, in passing the agreements that they passed, mm. agreed that some of these conditions can be changed mm. and assigned the duties as to who has the responsibility of converting or ensuring that these conditions, whether pre precedent or subsequent, could be changed. The minority so, say they disagreed. Mr. Jenapo, who they, is the peace they sat down. Says, I'm sorry. He, they disagreed. On that particular I'm sorry, but he sat. He, he may have disagreed, mm. but then unless he wants to practice a dictatorship, mm. this is our democracy. We've given Parliament the right to make some of these decisions. Why are we not punishing the people yet? I'm coming. 
Why, why are we not punishing Hughes, the people? This is what we have, we have ahead. No, but hold on, Hughes. You've asked a lot of questions. You've given the opportunity <laughs> to say quite a lot of things. And I think it is only fair that you also give me the same opportunity okay. to explain the matters one by one. Okay. Now, it is unfair. I mean, unless Mr. Janapo wants to practice a dictatorship, he cannot say that since he disagreed, his opinion should have carried sway. Mm -hmm. It was the Parliament of the Republic of Ghana that passed it. So I beg him on those deviations, okay. let us stick to what has been done. In that light, let me also clarify that nothing wrong was done. Now, this insurance guarantee was not a condition subsequent. It was a condition precedent. So, Hold so on. when the minister It was from, not insurance oh. guarantee. It was demand payment guarantee. That was made condition precedent. precedent. Now, government of Ghana... From all indications, the please, no, no, please, no, no, it's no, important to clarify. Please, please allow me. He's, he's please. The consultants, no. listen. Sorry, the consultants present. It's unfair. No, no, sorry, you see, the whole idea. It's unfair. You see, you're not allowed to speak. No, but I'm not. See, you have misinformed the public, no, misinform no, no, the public and he has been allowed to misinform the public. The PDS consultants. I'm being asked to clarify, and he's still trying to interject on the basis. He's being asked. You know, you had your chance. You had your chance. Hold on for me. You had your chance. He had his chance. This platform. He had his chance. Yes. Educate. And Hughes. that is why this is so unfair because he's had this chance. Absolutely. Allow me. Allow, 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 allow me. Allow me. Now, so, on the no, no. issue of fraud, I've clearly identified that the documentation that came in upon further due diligence yes. test indicated that there was a problem. What the Republic of Ghana, headed by the finance minister, mm. decided to do at the time <laughs> was to take over the asset from the PDA. Is that enough? Hold on. No, hold on. I'm Let coming. him even mm. go on that. Took over the asset from the PDS, handed it over to ECG, mm. and we proceeded to do further investigations. The report he quotes is the result of the one of the results of the further investigations, which indicated that, mm -hmm. indeed, to a very large extent, and you're a lawyer, mm -hmm. what he's trying to do here is to bait me to say certain things for the record, but I would not. No, say oh. it. Accountability. You are, you are, you are, you are, you are being boisterous. You are being boisterous. You are being extremely boisterous. You are being extremely boisterous. You are allow him. You are being extremely boisterous. You can't decide what he says. Thank you. Say what now, you want Now, what to say. he's trying to do is to bait me to say, I will not sit here. But are you hiding information from us? No, I'm not hiding information. But remember okay. that whatever I say here mm. may have legal implications ah, elsewhere. We so that is why I am saying, mm, mm. what we have identified clearly is that PDS... Yes, indeed, made contact and requested for an insurance guarantee. They paid the necessary amount of monies that were supposed to be paid. Mm -hmm. Cow Bank indeed did transfer the monies no, out of this country. Before. I'm coming. This, this may fraud, I land? This fraud, may no, I no, land? have said that before. Yes, but Let's if I may time. land. Let's save time. But if I may this, land. This fraud that the minister identified, that which you said the investigations that you conducted identified, is that enough for us to exit the agreement we had with them? See, because, Ed, as they are, say, fraud you are, you, are, you are trying to get me to make categorical statements. Now, listen. What I'm trying to say is Am that... Am I not asking a sensible question? I'm saying that we need to understand clearly where that fraud is located. Mm. It is located between the insurance broker and the insurance company. From Ghana, the banks the company and all of that are not involved but all all those two may parties I, the broker and the company are working towards the may contract I, may I offer finish? acceptance consideration may i finish therefore mm. to situate it therefore and say that uh, pds has done something wrong and you don't understand he's a lawyer and he knows very well that government took over the asset and handed it over to ecg mm. ECG then decided that for the purposes of practicality, <laughs> we are going to subcontract PDS. So as it stands now, mm -hmm. as it stands now, mm -hmm. it is not PDS that is managing the asset. First they have been subcontracted by me. ECG. Now the second thing is, look, for practicality sake, when the transfer was are done... You, are you saying that on your honor? It is on my honor. Okay. Now when the transfer was done, the staff of ECG were transferred to PDS. Remember, we are not. We haven't cancelled the contract as we speak. Why not? We've if you have identified fraud, the, the clarity <laughs> that needed to be brought into the matter okay. led to further investigation. After thirty I'm days, coming. after I'm thirty coming. days, three months have elapsed beyond the thirty. There was days, the need. Listen, and, and you still can't make a determination what you want to do with people you know have defrauded you. Nobody has said that. First of all, secondly. But it's taking too long for Secondly, you to make, to make a decision on behalf of Nanadao. the people of Ghana. Secondly, Nanadao. the clarity that you need to bring <laughs> is that you as him sitting here, I am not sure that mm. you will be happy mm. 
if as a result of a hasty decision mm. the government of Ghana incurs a, 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 a but you, you said may I, you said by Kojo Krumah's uh, uh, announcement to the public that you're going to do a 30 breach. day 30 day uh, investigation because there was a fundamental the breach 30 now day, the 30 days elapsed you you couldn't even speak immediately after the 30 days we had to push you to speak it's been two or three months after that and you still can't make and a determination nobody what has you want said, to do with our lives no nobody has said that we still cannot make a determination nobody but it's has taking said. too long well you listen agree? and the question i'm asking you then is that you as hughes mm. will you be happy that the government makes a hasty decision that results in your tax monies being used to pay judgment debts or you would prefer mm. that the government does the necessary considerations. How long and do take, we have to wait? May I finish? How long do we have to wait? May I finish? How long do we have may to wait? May I finish? Or what? The point I was making. Okay, please. Thank you. The government of Ghana is making the decisions it is making in the interest of the people of Ghana. Now, how going, long do we have to going wait? Back to, going back to this no, no, issue. No, let's finish this one. Please, how long do we have to wait? You are trying to push me in a direction, no, no. but there are substantial how, issues. How long do we have to wait? Very often, what you tell me is to write your question, write yes. the issues down. So, so I write it down. Do how long do we have to wait? wait? Can I please write it down? <laughs> With the promise that I'll answer you. Now, let me go back to my issue, which is that ECG assistance is managing the asset. PDS has been subcontracted for practicality sake. Over 6,000 staff, of, listen, of, of, listen of, over 6, staff hmm. of ECG were given to PDS under the concession agreement. Okay. We haven't cancelled the concession agreement because, as we said, investigations were ongoing. Bear in mind that the conduct of the government of Ghana is regulated by a contractual agreement. Mm. And if we breach it, there may be very serious implications for us as a state. This contract that you said had elements of fraud in it. What's keeping you I've in there? I've identified. Are, are your hands so tied that you can't untie yourself? We are bound by a contract and a concession agreement that we signed. Fraud government all. fraud vitiates all but once you have proof we are you have you have a center to prove prima facie that there's fraud it behoves on you to further investigate that is what responsible governments do such that we do not end up with i'm looking for an appropriate choice of word but we do not end up with i wanted to use a certain word but for for for, for television sake yeah. we do not those, end those up with french here yes okay. we do not end up with payments that will not inure to the benefit of the state so how long do we have to wait i have told you that before to, the to, end of the week no no, I, I, no I, I want i want him to give me an answer so unless i'm he, telling he you that, that i'm telling you no that. no let's conclude your part so edg can also have his part oh but he finally. has he had he started so, so nana, i'm coming nana, no, 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 nana, no, no, no. nana i like Hughes. the way you have spoken Hughes. so far see Hughes. you have told me nana wait wait i'm coming he's basically i have a problem no i have a problem no i have a problem with this which is should i he started okay so i responded okay you gave him further time to 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 go for it you have responded and i'm responding so if you give, give him, if you okay. give him more time, you will okay. have to give me the same Absolutely. time. May I, may, okay. I, may I have a no, no, no. Hold on. Let me uh, let, answer my question, please. Okay. I like the point you have built. Mm -hmm. You said that, look, we went into an agreement. We saw that there was something wrong. We went to investigate, and then we are trying to find a solution to it. We didn't just see that there was something wrong. Okay. So On the face of it, mm -hmm. everything was okay. The government of Ghana decided to do further due diligence. I, I agree. Recognizing the importance of the national asset. And you pull the plugs, and then ECG, when we realize that that's a problem. PDS, yes, blah, blah, blah. for practicality. And I'm saying that. How long do we have to wait I'm saying to that hear the verdict of government on this matter, I'm whether sure to stay in the contract or to exit the contract? I'm pretty sure that before the end of the week, you hear that. Before the end of the week. I'm pretty Hughes, sure about okay. Hughes, just a few minutes. Hughes. Hughes. We're Look, going down see, this path my brother, again. My brother I just want me, viewers please, to please, know please, that Nana, if he is allowed, your, Nana, have your, I would have... I should be given a chance. I'll give each of you one minute. Yes. No problem. We'll wrap up at 26. Hughes, the fundamental issue is this. The reason why government of Ghana cannot proceed mm. to do what is, you know, prudent mm. is because government is... What is prudent? Please. I'll allow him. Government, to know government, is government itself is an accomplice. Oh, how? How? Yes, and I'll demonstrate that. In the fraud, mm. that alleged fraud that had been perpetrated on the good people of this country. Because mm. when the PDS consortium members provided a triple A mm. bank mm. to provide a demand payment guarantee, the, 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 the responsibility of government then, as at November 2018, mm. was to increase tariffs. Okay, right. Government of Ghana 
even when PURC was ready to do the tariff adjustment, decided that for political reasons, mm. the tariffs should not be adjusted. Okay. So the triple A bank left. Then the PBS consortium now meets the vice president, Please, one minute. Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, at point. the Flagstaff House, mm. where this whole idea of using insurance mm. guarantee in place of the bank more liquid guarantee that a triple A bank was willing to provide. And in fact, if you read the FTI consulting report, they allude to a minute where Dr. Mahmoud Bamiya was the one who chaired. And they agreed, therefore, that the PDS consortium should come with the insurance guarantee. And so government itself sees that they were part of all the mess that defines itself in. So, so we shot so ourselves in the uh -huh, So that now, if you want to rely on that, mm. so basis to now abrogate, when you yourself, you are an accomplice. Okay. You have contributed to the current situation. So that's and that is why government of Ghana cannot proceed, even when they have seen real evidence of wrongdoing. Now, you see, my brother here... He said one minute. Oh, no. no, no, wrap up for me. Oh. Very well. See, let, so let us all agree. Mm -hmm that we have come to the point where we deserve something better for leadership. Okay. So where a national asset worth about 22 billion mm. can be given to cronies, mm. friends, where they have not demonstrated any technical okay. or financial Thank capability, you. we should not expect this kind of leadership. Okay, now, now you, you take a bite on it, but many years ago, my uncle told me that if you bought four yards of uh, material to sew a trouser, it doesn't mean you should use all the four yards if you actually could use one and a half yards. You should have said that to him. No, I'm saying to him, I'm submitting to him. But you should have said that to him. I'm just saying my uncle's But you should have said that to him when he started speaking. <laughs> but you see, again, like I said, I can see the excitement. Is government complicit? To, to no, let's let's respond to his. There's no responding to the claim. Yeah, One, no, was there no, an no, attempt? No, thank you. The PUC thing. Have, you have, should respond. I'm talking have, to report. No, no, we have, no you we see, have you see, you. on this platform, oh, I've seen my DD. brother do some subtle jobs. Okay. Respect I have for your discerning viewers. Mm -hmm. I've kept cool. Thank you. No, so don't go because there. Because I am so, very competent so, at doing so, that. So don't go there. Respond. I have on this no, no, class on okay. talk allow about him, PURC, allow him, allow him November to, deadline, yeah, you, March I'll, deadline. I'll, I'll I should speak allow to those to, issues. Allow you to answer the questions. Thank you. So uh, he raises uh, questions that okay, what are the issues through the Vice President Baumia, mm -hmm. who, uh, the, well, for whatever reason, the a triple a bank left and we are now had to resort to insurance guarantee he chaired the meeting and so government is complicit in it that's false which means that if you pull out now we will be looking at judgment dead that's we would have shot ourselves in the well, foot the vice that's president two, the vice president never chaired any meeting number two number two no, he wants to him. know number two he wants to know why the purc was told to hold on with the tariff adjustment until uh the deal was done and number three is asking to know if indeed it, the vice president chaired a meeting. Yes. Uh, that makes us complicit in this matter, which is why we cannot move forward like the people of Ghana want. It is to. either mischievous hmm, or um, a lack of appreciation of the issues that would make my brother say that. Because the first thing is that you need to understand that this agreement was signed <laughs> by the NDC administration. At the time, what they had said was that local content in this deal was going to be 20%. Right. That was the first one. They had also come out to say that some workers could be laid off among others. At the inception of this government, the deal was looked at again and said such a strategic national asset was not going to be allowed to be held by foreigners. Mm. And so we changed the local content requirement from 20% to 51%. Mm. Again, we also said that nobody was going to involuntarily lose his job for the period of the concession, among others. Okay. What you then realize is that uh, by then, some pre-qualification had been done, and the top three paid their standards, mm. left because they felt that they were not going to get involved in a business where they did not have majority control. That is true. Mm. As the deal so continued we to... Out. Well, you see, it's a decision of, do you give it over to international interest totally? Or you find a way to keep it in the hands of Ghanaians because it is an essential national asset. Do you give it this to government, who can do their job? 
this government decided that considering the importance mm -hmm. of such a strategic national asset, it should always be in the hands of Ghanaians who have majority. Whether they can do and the work or not. You see, hold on. <laughs> what we have done mm -hmm. is the best decision in the interest of this government. Well, that, in well, interest, in the interest the of this country. Not. That it was all considered. Whether they can do the work or not was all considered. Remember, this was not a sole government of Ghana decision mm -hmm. to sit down there and say, I want to give it to A, B, or C. Mm -hmm. This is a transaction that was done in collaboration with the Millennium Challenge Corporation of America. Mm -hmm. And the transaction advisor was indeed appointed, not by the government of Ghana. Yes, not solely by the government of Ghana. So let us remember that the threshold is not an issue where I can sit in my office and say I'm appointing such a person or I'm giving it to such Did a person. Who appointed the vice president? Finish. Chair finish. Finish. May I finish? Finish. May I finish? May I finish? May I finish? Did the vice president chair a meeting? I'm not done with that with that explanation. So if no, you allow me, you have you have spent two I minutes of you see, your three. But you allowed him to go there. You so have spent two minutes of no your challenge. Three. But you've allowed him to go there, and it is my job and based on where I sit to give these you explanations. You have spent two minutes of your for your listeners to also pay attention. Now, therefore, it is a wrong premise for him to see. That it was the vice president's sole decision to change it from um, a, a payment said it was to a, a guarantee. meeting chaired by the vice president. You see, I think that this is this is did very he said, chair, he did chair did a meeting meeting or not? He said the vice president chaired a meeting that brought in the uh, guarantee insurance guarantee. That's not true. That's not true. That's not true. He didn't chair a meeting. I'm saying that you are saying no, that he the didn't chair a meeting. Ah, but the vice president chairs Jala, meetings every day. So if you allow me, yes. what I'm saying is that you are making an allegation. That the vice president chaired a meeting that made that decision that it should be changed. I am telling you on authority that that is not true. Move on. So what? The what next was, issue. What was the decision? I'm coming. The meeting yes. Took? Oh, but which meeting is he talking about? The vice president holds a lot of meetings. So which one are you talking about? I am saying that on the second day of February, 2019, Dr. Mahmoud Balmia at the Jubilee House in a meeting where media officials, I mean Anta, Ken Oforiata. Where in the meeting? It was at that meeting that it was resolved. Okay. That you. they have and to I'm come saying with that, insurance hold on, guarantee. And I'm you, telling you, you that. Did it happen or it did not? It did you. not yes. happen. Thank you. He said it did not happen. It, it wasn't at that. It did not happen. So okay. please. It wasn't at that now, meeting, but it was at listen, another meeting. I'm not saying anything like that. What I'm saying is that what he's saying, he's spewing not falsehood. I don't know okay. him to be. And look, let's be clear. I don't know you to be a correspondent. First of all, like, have you read please, the FTI? Can I move? Allow, 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 allow him to wrap up. Please. Allow him to wrap up. The second thing I'll say is that I'll be very happy if he can bring any proof can you give us a date oh, yeah, yeah. no no can you give us a date yes so we, we'll can, come we can give you a date next week absolutely no problem and, and, so we'll and come back. Now, 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 can I, back. now can i have my seat yes no you have your seat thank you the point i'm also making is that i'll be very happy if you can give any evidence okay. that the purc was dictated to to hold on because if what yes. we all know i'm coming mm. yeah what we all know is that the purc is an independent ah. body is it <laughs> Is that not what it is? Is it? I'm asking you. No. Is it? I'm asking you. It is an independent body. So okay. what you are alleging as a lawyer, and you know the law, is a very serious issue. So yes, if you have, that may is I finish? Law. May I finish, please? Okay. PRC were ready in November. This, 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 this is, Sorry. Thank you. Now, oh if he has any evidence mm. to show that indeed PRC was dictated to, that is a breach of the laws that set up PRC. Mm. And as a lawyer, you must take it up. I will support yeah. you. Okay. I am telling you that I will support okay. you to take up that decision. Thank you. Thank you now, very much. Now, Let, now let's, let's be clear again. You finished your three minutes. Yes, but I think that... Now you are not the, 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 final, the final thing that I want, <laughs> I, want, I want us to be clear about is that, you see, this platform... I'm no should, longer the this platform, point. this platform should not be used to achieve certain um, political points. Oh. For example, you have said that the thing was given over to NPP what? Cronies and all of them. If you, you are, if you are allowed, to, if you are allowed, if you hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, I'll give no, evidence. No. Hold, on. Hold, hold on, hold on. Did you hold on? Okay. Yes. Thank you. Now, if you are asked to prove that, that it was solely because of so-called NPP connections mm. that these things were given. Mm. Would you be able to do they knowing have, that you have knowing that you see you you say that you give me thirty seconds to respond to Listen, Nana, those who own the the Ghanaian part of the of shareholders, are they really MPP people? Yes. I don't know. You don't know that. The no, chairman of PDS is Mr. Philip Ayesu. Mm. If you go to Philip Ayesu, he's Nanado Dankwe Kufado's appointee on the NCA board. Mm. One, Mr. Philip Ayesu is a member of the MPP communication team 
the national communication team That's of MPP. Mr. Philip Ayesu That's is a member of the communication advisory team to President Nanado Danko Ekufado. Mm. Fact. Uh -huh. If you don't know, you don't no, know. Hey, listen, I am just don't, telling don't, you. Okay, don't. And, and if you don't, do you know, you know what I know about here. the PDS so, 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 so. What do you know? Uh, well, look, we what are coming do you know? back here Tuesday. Do you do? What do you yes. know? It's a deal. We are doing do Tuesday. Yes. Tuesday. It's no a problem. Deal. I'll come. What do you Tuesday, know? Evidence -based, uh, evidence -based. Evidence -based. Evidence -based. On TV PBS. Evidence-based. Evidence-based. On TV. So the whole hour is going to be on PBS. No, no. We'll, on this we will do some. If your uh, facts media, finish. I like. If I your like, facts finish. You know. Okay. Hi, Sweating though. Is everything okay with you? I'm fine. You're sure? Okay. So good morning, Johnny. You always make me go to work late because I can't stop watching your show. Sorry about that. But with regards to you and your panelists, by the way, ask Nana Damwa if the dust to settle for his former boss to speak has not settled. I think it should be compacted by now. Still waiting. General Kunda from Tamale. Even from Kwabenya. Welder Junction says that I don't think the telcos are making the government unpopular, but they are rather digging their own grave. Have they forgotten what they said about John Mahama uh, imposing nuisance taxes on us and they would get rid of, of them? Okay, so what has changed now that in October alone, several increases, uh, there have been several increases. They can't outsmart us again because we are wild. Even if we don't see it up front, we know uh, they do deduct 7% of talk tax liars uh, that we voted for never again to this incompetent administration okay high five okay uh for nanaya and ponsa for gfa okay good morning tv3 we were in this country when president okufuado claimed he was an anti-corruption crusader yet uh he's now turned into a clearing agent for his corrupt cohorts oh. people they claim to have frauded uh us okay so pds still are taking our money oh nanado nasir from our flow. Now, from teacher constitution, we are must say, free SHS has not just come to stay, it has also come to retire former President Mahama from active politics. Please, since communication ministry has asked the mobile network to stop deducting CST, Vodafone has stopped, but a certain network which begins with M is still deducting. Okay, Nana Damwa, you are sweating under TV3 air condition. It's not easy to defend NPP policy direction at all, and this person left out his name. Well, the rest of the comments are about uh, um, you know the re-registration of right, let's sim let's cards see, let's but see a bit of it. okay um, so yeah. let's see i believe that the telcos have the data of all those properly registered and those who are not i suggest they block the latter to ensure compliance this is from douglas okay and then another one from george afienya good morning i bought a sim from mtn promo and a phone had it registered but has the former owner and had the former owner's name reflecting so anytime i use uh it reflects anytime i use the true color app okay that clearly is a problem now this one says congratulations to you johnny and the entire new day production team for the awards also Thank to you. humble alfred county and aisha my crush congratulations mm. to tv3 for the milestone uh johnny if the biometric ECOWAS card is active it will be the only solution to our sim card registration problems if we use fingerprints to verify our identity at the point of registration there is no way anyone can beat that system johnny we're campaigning against sexual harassment and you're enjoying one on live tv <laughs> what oh oh <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Uh, good morning, Johnny. Am I complaining? Uh, well, <laughs> if this clueless and super taxing infested government thinks what the telcos are doing, as far as the approach of deductions is concerned, is not the best, then they should bow their heads down in shame and do the most honorable thing by rescinding the tax imposition to avert any wrangling between them and the telcos. And this is from Aguero Banda inside. Hacho and more conversations about the sim cards good morning tv3 johnny i do agree with you 100 percent with the biometric data on Ghanaians, it will be easier to synchronize all information with the telcos therefore achieving the objective for the registration of sim cards that's martin from yandy and final one so what johnny is saying about the sim card is true a week ago i went to buy a sim card uh hoping to register it with a different agent and i realized i couldn't register it since it was already registered so i had to buy a new one and register with my details so it means that the previous sim was a waste of money that's about okay it. bella thank you thank very you. very much yesterday the minister for uh communications Eslo Usu, said uh, categorically that upfront deductions of the CST will attract severe sanctions. But also I'd seen uh, some, some letter written by Mr. Tuforsen, uh, the minority spokesperson on uh, finance and also a member of their communication uh, team in parliament, mentioning that the minister doesn't have the capacity to make those statements and dip those directives because all issues taxes must be um, directed 
from the, the Ghana Revenue Authority and then the NCA uh, will have to make that call, not the minister, even though the NCA falls under her purview and all of that. Uh, Nana, uh, is the minister biting more than she can chew? How? According to our two forcing, she's biting more than she can chew. She's making a call that is not hers. I'll he's trying to do the work of the GRA, and he quotes uh, acts. I'll share that with you shortly. But I'd be very happy if um, he could supply further information as to that, because you see, okay. what exactly are we talking about and what is being done? Now, first of all, let me also mention that mm. um, from January 1st, 2020, okay. um, there have been some directives that will ensure that um, every member of the ECOWAS communities will mm. be able to, I mean, particularly from Ghana, you yeah. can roam within the ECOWAS community mm. on local rates. So that is a very big plus that all of us need to look up to. What it will do is that um, it will help grow the local integration between the West African states. Mm -hmm. And with the advent of the AFCTA, among others, uh, this deepening of communication ties would also ensure that Ghanaian businesses are able to take advantage of the opportunities that lie within the West African sub-region moving forward. So I think that the communication ministry mm -hmm. um, deserves a lot of kudos for this kind of work that they have done. Now, what's the issue here? The issue is that 6% CST has been increased to 9%. Mm -hmm. Now, previously, the 6% CST was absorbed okay. by these te telecom companies. Mm -hmm. This is what you need to understand. When they were doing that, they never stated that um, for X, okay. you are to be deducted Y, mm -hmm. but we have absorbed it. Nothing of the sort was done. Okay. Now, it has been increased by 3%. Mm -hmm. And they are trying to change a user tax mm. to an upfront tax tax and that is what the minister is saying Somebody remember says they, they, the telcos are protecting their interests because well when the credit vanishes from their phones uh, nobody insults the minister or the nca or uh gra they say well mtn vodafone Airtel tigo so they have me. preemptive yes, strike. You have sto stolen my money. So now they're also <laughs> protecting their interest to say. But the truth of the matter take is. Take the insult and give it to the right people. The truth of the matter is, it's a user tax. Mm. So as you use, then it is deducted. You cannot therefore bring it upfront for whatever interest you may have and say that this is how we are going to do it. Why is the minister speaking about it? Because she's a minister of communication with direct responsibility for the regulator, which is the NTA. Okay. And so, let, therefore, let, let such directives mm. are not let, let me share a bit of uh, the letter from Atu Forsen to the Honorable Minister, dated the 14th of uh, October. And it says, Dear Honorable Minister, Directives on Communication Service Tax Implementation. It says, Reference is made to a directive uh, on Communication Service Tax Implementation by the Honorable Minister of Communication, reference number SCR, blah, blah, blah. And it says that the directive instructs the Communication Service Tax to be treated the same way VAT, NHIL, get fund, levy, and other taxes and levies imposed on entities doing business in Ghana are treated. I'd like to point out that one, under the Revenue Administration Act 2009, that's the evidence you have been calling Act for, 791. Act 791, the administration and management of tax revenues reside in the Ghana Revenue Authority. And two, the CST Act 2019 does not apply the principles of the Value Added Tax Act 2003, that's Act 870. From the two acts, the, the Minister for Communication does not have the powers to issue an administrative order on how a tax policy should be implemented. And secondly, the CST cannot be treated in the same way VAT is treated. The issuance of the directive is therefore an illegal act and should be withdrawn with immediate effect. If the government wishes to treat the CST as VAT, the Ministry of Finance should be encouraged to present a CST amendment bill to Parliament for the necessary action to uh, be taken. And it goes on to say it's unconscionable. I'll be blah, very blah, happy. Blah. You're yeah. asking companies to hide their deductions and all of that. I'll be very happy if Mr. Atoforsen could test this. This is where prognosis or theory in court. Mm -hmm. But the basic thing I would want to say mm, is that as it stands now, the CST is not a new element. Mm. Let's understand that. It has been increased. Right. The rate is what has been increased. But the CST is not now being introduced. How has it been treated formally? Somebody says the telcos perhaps are putting this forward so the people of Ghana feel this. And then, it will push it? You, and then it will push you to go back to parliament to say, withdraw the 50% the we added. No problem. Question. How was it being treated previously? Again, 
when you say the 50 percent that was added what you mean is the 50 percent of the original rate right not that 50 percent has been taken off and all of these are part of the narrative that creates a very disturbing is 50 percent of what if you are charging six percent no, I'm saying and that 50% of what? I'm saying if you are charging 6% uh -huh. and you add 3% to it, that's 50% of, of the 6%. Okay, so 50% of the rate. Right. Now, if you say 50, now, if you say it's 50%, the clarity isn't there. But you are charging 6%. six percent. If you add 3 to it, that is 50% of your 6, correct? 50% of what? The rate. 6, divide, not a, 6 divided by 2 is what? It's 3. Good. So it's, it's so fifty percent of what? Six divided by two is three. Yes. So the three becomes fifty percent of what? Of six of hundred. S what is the six? The six is your. It's your so time. you see, Hughes. That's why I'm saying that you know communication. The critical thing is the clarity. Where the clarity lacks, then you haven't communicated but you at have all. Done fifty percent increment that's of a fact. the rate. Of if the you say fifty percent of, of the previous rate, yes. so do not leave mm. out the rate issues mm. and seek to say that you've done fifty percent. Mm. That lack of clarity is okay. troublesome. But it's it on gives the room. May I? May okay. I? May I? It mm. gives room for mischief. It gives room for all sorts of confusion, okay. which may create an unnecessary fury. All I'm seeking to say is that first of all, CST is not a new matter. How was it being treated previously? Do you get the indication that the public are not happy about this tax? Well, it is not for me to sit here and determine. But all I'm saying is that CST is not a new creature. Agreed. How was it being handled previously? Mm. Because what is being done now is new. Okay. So let us all be fair in asking the telcos that how were they treating it previously? And how come? Because you see, again, and, and that's like what, I said... That's what Artu Fossil says. Look, again, it's not a minister's job to decide how taxes are affected in well, this country. Well, we, may she, we must, may... she must yield to the, v, uh, the, the GRA and the NCA to do their work. We can decide to butt heads over that. But all I'm saying mm, is that if Mr. Artu Fossil is also... My, uh, was also minded to argue on the behalf of the ordinary people of Ghana. Okay. The question you should be asking and helping all of us ask is that, Telcos, why are you doing this now? Okay. And how was this issue treated previously? Mm. All that has been saying is, let's assume that ADG has grown a bit in, in, in size. And so his current suit, you just need to add a few adjustments to the width. Uh, width waistline. Now, why are you therefore saying that the entire design of the suit has to be changed? On what basis? What is the reason? What is the rationale? Okay. And you see, again, I'll go back to the point of communication that once you engage in such antics, you create the impression that something new has been done, seeking to do whatever you are seeking to so do. You think that the telcos are doing you in? They're trying to. Well, make you I'm unpopular. saying that they are they are creating a crisis of communication, which okay. must be sorted out. Okay. Thank you, Edg. <coughs> take a bite of this one yes, for uh, me. Uh, I've quoted the relevant I mean, laws quickly. Um, I've read the statement or the request from the Honorable Atto Forsen mm -hmm. to the Minister. Mm -hmm. And I strongly side with the position that he had canvassed. Okay. It is not for nothing. That is why when Parliament decided to pass all laws, issues about taxation is exclusively reserved for mm -hmm. Ghana Revenue mm -hmm. Authority. In fact, you notice that for a long time, okay. GRA has been on several shops that even tax stamps should be boldly displayed okay. on items that we buy. Okay. You would also note that any time you go out there mm -hmm. to even shop in most of these bigger shops, when they print out the receipt, mm -hmm. you see how much you are paying for NHIS. Right. You see how much you are paying for all the various levies. Mm -hmm. All of this thing is to ensure tax what you call uh, uh, information okay. because you see, if i'm paying tax i need to know okay. how much i'm paying right if i know how much i'm paying i'm able to hold public officers more accountable mm. as to how they judiciously use my whatever mm. now all of this had become a problem because for the first time mm. the telcos have decided to do forward billing okay that is to say let us know right in advance that because you have purchased, say, 20 Ghana City worth of Airtel okay. talk time, we are taking this amount of Ghana City from it. One city, 40 per So time. right from the beginning, as a consumer, you are well informed how much you are paying. Now, after and that... Is that right? Absolutely. Why? Even in the Constitution, mm. it talks about openness. It talks about transparency. Mm. 
It talks about accountability and probity. So if you These are fundamental principles. Mm -hmm. Why? If you're a taxpayer and you don't know how much tax you are paying, mm -hmm. how do you practice this in a democracy? The, 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 other, school, but, the other school of thought says that, look, mm -hmm. if you go to a supermarket to buy, yes. say, a box of biscuits or yes. a bottle of water, the element of NHI, uh, NHIL, it's, everything is in So it's it. the, the shelf price mm. that you see has all those elements included in it. Uh -huh. so, and then when so, they print so, an itemized so you, bill, so you, notice you get that. No, but you notice that when there is a new tax, mm. when you go to the shop, the price of the product will finally increase. Right. And so that increase takes care of that additional tax right. that you are paying. Right. So at every point in time, as a citizen, you are fully aware. Now recall, the chairman of the Finance Committee of Parliament, Honorable Mark Osesb, yeah. had come out to say mm. that the conduct of the CS, uh, the, 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 uh, the telcos, in letting Ghanaians know how much we are paying by reason of this new imposition, mm. is making government unpopular. So this directive from the minister is a political directive. Because, and the minister is not saying that the telco should stop imposing that tax. Mm. The minister is not saying Says that. He said, way you yes, he said, go ahead and impose the tax. But don't let the good people of Ghana know that you are taking this amount from them. Nana, so, is, Nana is asking, how was so, it done in the past? So the if, past no, no, no. So, no, so effectively, and no, the effectively what we have is that you have a situation where when you buy 20, you see all your 20. Okay. But now when you make a call, mm. maybe 20 Ghana City Wet could have given you 17 minutes talk time. Right. Now it will give you 14. Okay. And so they don't want you to know that this is what is happening. And the telcos who are saying that, listen, in the past, mm. this is how we're doing it. And consumers thought that we right. are the ones credit. taking their credit. We are not. It is government of Ghana by reason of this tax imposition. And I find the directive from the minister mm. extremely disingenuous. Extremely disingenuous because as a minister, you are accountable to the people the people who joined the queue and voted for Nanado Danko Kufado. So if at the end of the day, all you are thinking is what will make you popular mm -hmm. or unpopular, then you are not being she accountable to She said there will be us. sanctions for and, those and you who see, don't And comply. you see, for me, that is where I find her commentary on this matter extremely problematic. When you have a minister mm -hmm. give such administrative fiat and proceed to say, that your compliance or otherwise, I can go against your licensing regime. I mean, you don't do that in a democracy. In any case, in any case, the licenses are not really given by the minister. It is given by the National Communication Authority. Which is under the ministry. Absolutely, but not the minister directly. Mm. So where the minister, in the face of NCA being there, jumps over them and begins to make such comment, Madam Eslewusu, I think you need to take your time. I find, okay. that, I find that Thank very you. interesting. That well, why on, do you find on, it on this platform? We've been told that PRC has been dictated to, or PRC right. was dictated right. to, and now all of a sudden, the same individual who justified it and said it is no serious matter is now saying that Madame Eslausu, if she is being seen mm. to be dictating in court mm. to an agency under her, it is a serious matter. Has she dictated to them? Ah, but that I, is what I, you I, were I, saying, and I'm just drawing comparison <laughs> to, to, to the two. The, the, the inconsistencies. The inconsistencies. The inconsistencies are amazing. This is what it is. Let us stand with the people of Ghana and on behalf of the people of Ghana to ask a very simple, basic question. Mm. CST is not a new creation. It is a user tax. As you use, so you pay. So in the past, mm. how was it treated, and currently? Why the difference? What is the basis? And let us allow these telcos to also be accountable to us. Mm. Let us remember that, look, yes, they are not public entities, but we are relying on them for essential services. Mm. They have also been licensed, and they are supposed to go under the laws of this country. But where the deductions do not go into their pockets as their profit, How they must make it known. How were you treating it in the past? That's the only question and I'm they, asking. They're, they're saying that, look, they're all slot from them. It's, the onslaught on them uh, from cons from consumers from back in the day it perhaps was becoming too it still, heavy. It still doesn't so, answer my so question. So they are saying that, look, now we want to make it clear. Hughes, 
uh, it still hasn't, this, this X amount is ours. It still this hasn't, X amount is what government still is hasn't taking away. Answered the and that question. is why your, your credit may not be enough. It still hasn't answered the question. So secret oh. deductions. <laughs> Listen. Whatever you want to say, it still hasn't answered the question. Of, no, I'm not supposed to be answering your question. So. I'm asked, no, 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 no I agree. So if the telcos would oblige the people of Ghana and ask, answer these questions, then we can have a more profitable debate. In the meantime, the minister, the minister is acting in the interest of the people of Ghana by saying that, look, this sort of differential, this sort of treatment that is being meted out is unpopular. This is not right, and so there are laws in this country. And remember, once upon a time in this country, we had citizens that rose to say that the sovereignty of this country is being sold for some reason. I've forgotten exactly what the reason is. Now we are saying that we have laws in this country, and if you want to operate in this country, you must abide by the laws that we have in this country. So it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. The, the minister, it's unfortunate. The minister it is, no, no, it is, let's, let's, let's tie this. I agree, but it is the unfortunate that yesterday. we have some Ghanaians who are now siding with... The, the telcos against the laws the of this tax country. is there oh, you yeah, impose yeah. the tax the, the, the minister withdraw the, the tax Atu says look come to parliament if you want to uh, have this properly done come to parliament I and, do not I do not think that Mr. Atu I do, not, I do not think that Mr. Atu Fawson understands the the, the, the the gamut of issues at play I do not it's think a ranking that. member of the because the of minister parliament has not understand. stated anywhere that we are looking to change the format of the tax I don't think so Okay. Now, you see, it is it is allowed for him to make these legalistic arguments that he wants to make. But the forum for that is not in the public domain. They, 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 the question, yesterday, 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 the, the minister domain. said, the minister also said um, yeah, that, that, for example, data should not expire. Uh, it should be rolled over. And I've had arguments. Uh, the, the gentleman who speaks for the Telcos Chamber, uh, first will be, oh, no, okay. that's a, uh, we call him Pope, Derek. Uh, he said that, um, for example, if you buy a ticket to fly out with any of the airlines and it is supposed to expire at a point and you don't make the necessary intervention to say that, oh, I can fly it on such and such a date, so uh, transpose my trip and then your trip expires. You don't expect the airline to roll over assistance now. Roll over the, the assistance thing for you. now. Do we have a caveat that allows individuals to say that I cannot use my data and so please roll it over? Do we have any such caveats? We okay. don't. We don't. So the minister has come out, and you see clearly, that's why I'm saying that she's acting in the interest of the people of Ghana. Because, no. oh, if I go and go and buy uh, 500 Ghana cities of okay. data, and for some reason I travel, and I'm not able to use that data, I use just about 50 cities of it. Okay. At the end of the month, I've lost it. Right. That is 450 Ghana cities of, of mm. money. Mm. That is gone and gone forever. But didn't the That's, people you bought the data from tell you that this data you see, is valid until X well, and X day? And you they, purchase maybe, and you purchase maybe it. they may have said So they made you an offer, you accepted maybe, it. Maybe and you they may it. have said that. Mm. But the reality of it is that such practices also are unfair to the people of Ghana. And how, the how do they pay their overheads? Chief, listen. At the end of the day, the minister has said that this is a directive that has been given. Okay. Comply with it. I believe that if they have a problem, they should go back and use the necessary remediation uh, uh, channels mm. to have this remedied. Is, however, 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 let us keep in mind that, look, the majority of the people watching us this morning will be very happy with this directive. Can I tell isn't you it dictatorial for the minister to, we may argue to, 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 to speak in the matter? We did. may argue whether it is dictatorial or not. But what I'm saying is that the majority of the people watching us, use mm -hmm. between you and I, mm -hmm. in your private corner, you'll be very happy at this that, directive. That, what? <laughs> that if you buy data, uh, there will not be any time. In any case, remember yeah. that I believe one of the of the telcos has already started this policy right. where data that you buy belongs to you. Okay. Uh, so, uh, so, but you let see, me find there's let me a more take, important let me take question. My brother that. is not. Let, at the end of the day, three hundred million yeah, dollars of yeah, money whether, has been paid whether whether to the, the banks. Okay. Whether and I think the telcos, that it is a great whether thing. the telcos tell us beforehand or not, would they be doing the deduction? Okay. Yes. Yeah. But more imp importantly. My brother alluded to the fact of this. It's on the front page of the yes. that that government has you know, cleared $300 million. Do you, know, do you know that this payment is coming directly from ESLA? Pass okay. December 2015. <laughs> sector levies. Yes. Okay. This is part of the legacy debts owned to the BBCs. <laughs> and if you call my brother, Senior Hussein, you confirm <laughs> that before the NDC left, mm. close to 635 million Ghana city had already been paid 
to the various BDCs. Mm. So it is consistent. And do you also know that within these two and a half years, mm. government of Ghana had made close to six billion okay. Ghana City from only Esla. Passed under the John. So you want, you want them to give you credit? They don't want to do that. Chief. They are not interested because no. they are described the critical, the critical as point. nuisance no tax problem. Okay. that they were going to scrap. The mm -hmm. So the benefit they are enjoying from ESLA, okay. why they come and tell Ghanaians, Ghanaians can now appreciate visionary leadership from short-sightedness. No problem. And that okay. is why they are The real away. issue is that, 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 that I, I like that, the fact that, that, that my has brother, been paid, eh? don't mind him. I like the fact that my but brother... But is it from ESLA? Oh, can you confirm? I, I, I like him. Oh, I like him. Like well, our time is up, so we it's need to It's a fair go. question, Nana. Is it coming from ESLA? Eduji is okay. Thank you. Can you just ask No, No, he will respond to it. All I have to say is that... I like the fact that my brother admits that they left legacy debts for this government. You are disingenuous. The legacy debts were not incurred by John Mahama. And that's why they are called legacy debts. Listen. Okay. Disingenuous. Debts for us. He mentioned 600. Kufor less debts. I agree, but I'm coming. He says 632 million Ghana cities, not okay. so. Yes. We are paid 300 million. Okay. For the first time. Where did you get the money from? Esla. For the first time. Where did you get the money for from? For the first <laughs> time since this government came to be. Where did you get the money this from? This BBC debt is under 50 million dollars. Where did you get the money from? For the first time in such a very long period of time. Now, remember. Ah, you don't want to oh, add that simple question. Okay. Listen. Do you allow me, Listen. Please. Hold on. Now, if he says that the money was gotten from Esla. Is it true? Yes, it is true that the money was gotten. I from mean, can we? Can we? Can we? Allow him. No. Allow him to. I, I be fair to him, please. Final answer. <laughs> it's not a game show. <laughs> can I finish? Now? Yes, thirty seconds. Thank then we'll wrap up. Thank you. This Esla was still there when you were able to pay just six hundred and thirty-two Ghana cities. Sorry, no. six hundred and thirty-two million Ghana cities. Esla was still there. That's twice oh, how much oh. I've been paid now. You know it. Okay. Yes. The truth is that three hundred million. Mm. For the first time ever, okay. it is now under fifty million. The PDCs themselves are very happy. Thank you. And this has reduced we, the we on the visionary And he is also a member of the MPP's communication team. Lawyer Juji Tamaklo speaks for the NDC. He's a member of the NDC's communication team and the legal team as well. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Nana, so you say by the close of the week we'll get an answer on the PDS matter, but we have a date on Tuesday. Okay.